Good evening, Zimbabwe. This is live talk uh, coming to you from Studio 7 at the Voice of America in Washington. It's a Friday, uh, September the 25th, 2020. I am Tungamili Nkomo. And I'm Marvelous Mshanganya Huye, broadcasting from my home in Washington, D.C., because of the COVID-19 or coronavirus pandemic, which is currently ravaging the whole world, including Zimbabwe, where the Minister of Health last night released the latest figures saying that there are 7,752 confirmed COVID-19 cases in Zimbabwe. But there is some good news coming in that there are recoveries amounting to 6,043 and some sad news that uh, the death toll from COVID-19 now stands at 227 in Zimbabwe. live talk. Lamhlanje si kuluma e, ngombigo owe tulue ngumonga meli ema soni mnanga kwa kui United Nations izo lo. Um, kuluma ngezi ntwezi nengi e, siza guzwa imbono yenu lama analyst e, sila ulaba meli wa mabanda achie ne yo. Uh, Goto wa manje ge silinige i update uh, ngomkusa newe coronavirus e Zimbabwe. Kulezi nsu kuba luchwana aba fayo, njalo bakanya beba luchwana aba vanjwa lumkutane. Izo lo kuba njwa aba ngu 27, uh, kupela njalo agula uh, muntu lo yetu wa ofile yo. Uh, Guze kube la mtlanje umkutane lo subulele aba ngu 227, njalo e, watasela aba ngu 7,752. Um, Ngenla anla abantaba nengi vaya sila, vaya sinda, vaya rekava. E izolo, ava tola gale sebe rekavile bangu 36. Oguchi kubana inani labanta sebe poli le, le wonke selifike ku 6,043. Meaning oguti ama active cases abantaba loku vekula. E skulu manje vangu 1,482 maf. I work now over Chango Vakinda Chirongwat, no Chinga Miza, Ipan Pachirongwa Sheduce Life Talk. Each on Ripute Venure and Rukumba, Pam Soro Pedenda, Covid nineteen, Kanakuti, Coronavirus, Irora Teke Shira Pasirose, Uyeje Nemunika Ye Zimbabwe, Parisino Bazrejo, Tano Rukus Visa Iro Kuti Munika, Ekuvanes Romane, Rupanevano, seven thousand seven hundred and fifty two, Evarku, and Kwa Iwa Vaka Batwa Nedenda Iro Covid nineteen. Asi pane na urwa ya kanaka o ilukubuda ye kutipane avo wakaba tukwa hivyo neche COVID-19. Pane vanu 6,043 wakaba tukwa neche ilukwerechi waka kwanisa kuchikunda mwenye kaye Zimbabwe. Asi totari sasha kare kuti pane avo wakaba tukwa neche ilukwerechi waka wane kwa hivyo wachishaya waka mira Parisi no pawa no 227. Saka ndoju mwesha tishange tuku tarisa ipo pano e, pa live talk. Tichitari sasha kare jirukuitika mwenye ka. Panyaya zeshe matonge ruwe nyika. Sitari saisusha kabuda nezuro e, ku musangano mukuru we United Nations General Assembly. Ukotaka wana mtunga miri we nyika wa Emerson Munanga kwa vachitaura pa musangano uyu. Saka tiange triku zea. Nenye anji uye jene bato rikutonga ne mapata wano piki sasha kare. Kutitinzwe ofu nguwa zao pa msoro pesha kataurwa na pa munanga kwa. Sitari sasha kare jirikuitika mnika pa, pa nguwa ino. Apotiru kuona kutimujare. Joanna Mamombeve, MDC Alliance, takawa na nezuro, vachinzi ivo, vazo kire shakare kuchizarira, kutivano ongororwa, kutivaru kuruwara nefungwa ere, kana kutikwete, varukunzi ivo, vano fanra kunge vare mchizarira, e, kwe maviki matatu. Taona ma sangano ema zimai, nasi vachishora chitiko ichi, vachiti chitiko ichi, chiru kuchikora kwa zero za mshare, mamombe, saka jimwe shajimwe shatiange tuliku kurukura nazo, Ipo pano pa chirongwa chenyu, che live talk ntunga. Yeah, indeed, uh, and uh, there is uh, quite a bit uh, to talk about uh, on uh, President uh, Emerson Mnanga was appearance uh, at the United Nations uh, General Assembly yesterday, uh, virtually, though, uh, due to the coronavirus uh, pandemic. Um, 
Mr. Mnangagwa uh, spoke about the uh, what he called uh, uh, illegal uh, sanctions uh, that he says um, violating international law uh, that he says uh, were imposed on Zimbabwe by countries like um, America, Britain, and uh, many other countries in the European Union. He appealed with uh, the United Nations uh, General Assembly to denounce those sanctions and uh, lobby for their removal. Um, he also uh, talked about democracy. Mr. Mnangagwa says uh, his government is entrenching democracy in Zimbabwe and uh, people's freedoms are, are being, uh, you know, people are getting the freedoms uh, uh, that uh, they are guaranteed under the constitution. He also said um, political reforms, economic reforms are being uh, implemented uh, uh, by his government. Uh, he also talked about uh, the uh, agreement uh, that uh, the government reached with um, white commercial farmers uh, whose uh, land uh, was uh, seized under land reforms. He appealed for the international community uh, to weigh in with um, financial resources so that uh, the government can compensate uh, these farmers to the tune of, uh, I think it's uh, 3.5 billion or so um united uh, uh, states uh, dollars um he also spoke about uh, his government uh, aligning uh, zimbabwean laws uh, with uh, the constitution and uh, he says uh, he is fostering unity and dialogue uh, through polar uh, and uh, we have uh, quite a panel uh, uh, tonight uh, that will weigh in on all uh, those issues. Ubabu mnanga kwa kulume ngazo izolo. Uti ukulume nde wake uya waslo nipa ama lungelo. Utilisa isi ngati demokrasi umbuso okululegi leyo. E, ukulume njalo ngezi jezi so ati zete so ili zwele Zimbabwe ngamazo ya fana le meliga. E, ngogu njalo utele i United Nations e, uguti ingenele gulo lutaba layo isole izi jezi solezi uguze zesu ulwe maf aiwa apo tuku nzwa ntunga sektora kwa arpita si wani kwa iya chitza na ngura shakata urwa ne mtunga miru enyika ne zuro waka wani kwa iwa wachishora shirango shakata miru enyika wakata ura iwo kuti munyika ye Zimbabwe parijino variku shanda kuti varandu zire nyaya ye utongi wejeche tere uye shwe kusimu zira ufumi wenyika wakata ura iwo e shaka wanda saka tishange tiriku zea neva nyari kane varipo pano kutivaka wana sei mazwi avamu nangagwa avakata ura ku e, United Nations General Assembly ne zuro ni kutivaka ura shaka wanda iwa chita ura shakare shurikuitika kumaprazi e, panyaya ye kupa e, ya varu kutiyo vachange vachiripa e, varimi vechitema vachikuru zira kuti Vane mari ye kuwe kunze, wabate nene nika ye Zimbabwe kuitra kutiva. Wani kuo, vachiva batsira mkuwa na vaine mari yoi ye kupa varimi vechitema. Wakata ura shaka wanda, saka ndoshu mwesha tiange triku kurukura ipo pano tishuone sana. Kuti imi munofunga sei, nesha angashu kuta ura vamo nangagwa iji ntunga. Aha, uh-huh. thank you, Marv. And uh, now let's dive in with our uh, panel. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Shepard Mpofu in South Africa is a political analyst. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Tawanda Zokora of the MDC Alliance here in North America, as well as uh, uh, Mr. Regis Charumbira of ZANU PF, also here uh, in North America. Uh, let me start off uh, with uh, Mr. Zokora. Well, Zokora, uh, good evening and welcome. Uh, good evening, uh, welcome. Thank you so much uh, for having us here, Magadi Muria Zimbabwe. 
Thank you. I'm sure you watched uh, the president's uh, delivery uh, virtually to the uh, General Assembly uh, yesterday. You heard all what he said. What's your response? Uh, well, um, I, I, I did watch uh, what I believe is uh, Emerson Munangagwa's last address of the United Nations. And of course, uh, uh, he was uh, at his uh, lying best. All he was doing was lying. And uh, we protest uh, very vigorously uh, this tendency of um, Emerson Munangagwa to go on the international community and paint a very wrong picture to the picture that is uh, currently prevailing in Zimbabwe. He talked about uh, respect uh, of uh, women, uh, but uh, what is happening in Zimbabwe right now is completely uh, 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 different from the picture he was appending uh, to the international community. Women are being raped in January 2018. Over 50 women, uh, you can uh, check that with the French television, uh, over 50 women were raped. Uh, and uh, right now, we have uh, Honorable Joanna Mamombe being persecuted and incarcerated uh, for no reason. So uh, what he said there, he doesn't conform to what is happening in Zimbabwe. And then uh, there was also another very big lie. He talked about uh, reforms. He talked about reforms when he came into power. But uh, today, uh, tell me where, what reform did uh, Emerson Munangagwa uh, 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 put? He hasn't enacted any electoral reform uh, ever since he came in. And now he comes up, up again at the United Nations lying that uh, he's going to uh, enact electoral reforms and political reforms and economic reforms. Which economic reforms when uh, Zimbabwe uh, is uh, on the doldrums of uh, paupacity economically uh, like we are seeing? People are suffering in Zimbabwe because uh, there are no economic reforms. He hasn't implemented anything that is benefiting the economy of uh, Zimbabwe. The, the, the theme for this uh, conference was the future we want. But I don't think there is anyone who was inspired uh, by, by his speech. Our youth definitely would not see the future that he was talking about. He is uh, preaching a, a, a different uh, thing in the international community when in Zimbabwe he is always promoting hate speech. Uh, so uh, I don't think uh, there is anything that we can carry home from what uh, Pres uh, Emerson Munangagwa said or did at the United Nations. Thank you, uh, Mr. Zokora. And uh, please uh, do stay on the line. Um, ma wabanzapo ba Zokora mafiva reguta ora. Eh, I think regeti mboye nda kunawa charumbira. Eh, varipa nare variku eh, ku Canada ves ano pia vachita ora upa msoro pia vachita ora na vachu kora the MBC Alliance vacharumbira mo kutinzo eh. Mo Eh, taura e nyu muci pindra kunesha taura na vachu kora pa msoro pia vachita ora na vamanga. Eh, ndani mwanzo asilani mwanzo kure kure. Mwanzo kuti mungo tafuti bora ni awe kwa. Okay. It's a little bit up next time. Mhm. Mm but ah. Uh, the <laughs> Ever, Zimbabwe ever had since we've been to the United Nations in the history of our country. He illustrated on the achievement that Zimbabwe and his government are taking and they are doing. He also uh, expressed himself in terms of how uh, he is, as the president of the country, uh, doing uh, as far as the economy of the country is concerned. He also talked about uh, the fact that uh, in Zimbabwe, of course, we, we follow constitutionalism and the rule of law. Now, to respond to uh, those uh, agitators, especially from the MDC Alliance, who are always uh, against each and everything that is done by Zambia, it doesn't matter what it is. What it is. 
If they need the seven days cough, they, they will say something. They see a seven days test and last week, they will say something. So, we in seven days, we are not going to be deterred by that. We have already put those sentiments from men, these are like whatever they are, outside of our of, of things that we need to do. We, we will never and we will not consider anything that comes from MGC Alliance from the time that they refuse to come to Poland, where those that contested in the, in the election, in the past election, are to, to, to talk about the reforms and everything. That's when we actually decided to no longer focus on anything that comes from MGC Alliance. They will never come up with anything positive, even for the people of the nation. There are a group of people who are always going to be murmuring around and describe each and everything that is being done. Right now, if we want to go to Zimbabwe, I don't know, Jokora, if he has uh, anyone who he knows in Zimbabwe, tell him to drive from Bedbridge to Harare and go and tell me how the road looks like. Have you ever had a road like that since independence? No. We are seeing that we grew up being told that the Mashingone Cafe, Moranetara. Right now, we see that the dead bridge road is almost nearly finished. The, 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 the road is like brand new. Bridges are, are being constructed all over the country. Dams are being built all over the country. We are seeing rehabilitation of hospitals and clinics in Zimbabwe. So, I, I don't know, really, who the MDC Alliance and its people are. Are they still Zimbabwe? It's just uh, Zimbabwe. They need to start considering Tumbozi ukira panesha kata uruwa ni mtunga miri wenyika. E, Nukuti nukua na kuti e, panesha nukuta uruwa pana patutaku nukua kuti imi panesha wakata ura panyaya ye shamuru kutawura isho usho. E, Munoshu wana se na kuti apati maku tukira kumuta uruwa shimwe asingati tukira yiku speech ya mamu nangabu. Alright, Joshua, that is what I was going there. Because I wanted to, 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 I wanted like what I said, the other president said, uh, in terms of, uh, I think he, he was talking about the rule of law, he was, uh, I think the MDC, I think it's Dr. Odeva, he was talking about the fact that he, he says this to the, to, the, to the world, and then in Zimbabwe, that's something different. Mm -hmm. This is the talk of MDC from the beginning of time. The, 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 the president is not a, is not a judge, he's, not a, he's a lawyer and professor. He is not someone who is out there as a lawyer with a lawyer with a law office. So when you do take up that case, and then you want to, 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 to just ignore that and not get arrested and be charged for that, then that's what they can do. Why are you taking up that case? Now you take up that case, and then after that you say that there's no rule of law in Zimbabwe because they want to continue doing whatever you want. Let me tell you this, uh, people of, of MDC. In Zimbabwe, you will see the rule of law working against you this time. Because if you continue taking those abductions and you want the, 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 the government to, to stand idle and look and continue, let you do what you want. That's not going to happen anymore. We have fake the abductions enough with the Magombe and now Joanna Mamonde is lying that I'm sick after she knows that it, there's credible evidence that she lied. There's, there's still a president. She lied to the police. She lied to the court. There is no credible evidence, uh, you can only say that when the court has pronounced itself, the court is still sitting on that issue. It hasn't litigated it, so you cannot say there is credible evidence that that abduction was fake. Do you know why I have to say that? I'm telling that because the court has credible evidence. No, those are allegations. Those are alle those are allegations so far. Those are allegations raised by Zanu PF and the state. So let's wait for the court and see where it goes with this issue. But right now, you cannot say there's credible evidence when the court is not pronounced itself. Yeah, but what, that's what I said. Every time, even what happened to the what happened uh, the, the past election before the elections were even released, what was the statement that came from you guys? So you how, think how, you how about how about Muchehiwa? Was was his abduction no, fake? No, Did he no, fake no, his own no, abduction? No, I ask you, I ask you a question. I said what statement came from MDC the last before the past elections were when the results were released. What was I the don't, that I, don't know, I'm, I don't know. I'm not an MDC person. I don't speak for them. I'm a journalist. I'm asking oh, you. I'm asking. I'm asking you about. 
I'm asking you about Muche, he was abduction. You are saying all these abductions are fake. And I'm saying to you, uh, I'm in, I'm in, was, I'm was in, Muche, he was abduction fake? We, 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 I mean abduction, did I mention? Did I mention about Muche? I don't know about Muche. I'm not going to comment about that because I don't know anything about that. I comment about what I know. Right? Okay. okay. Uh, maybe in Tunga, if you can bring in our next guest. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's uh, hear what um, um, uh, Doctor Mpofu uh, has to say on that. Uh, Doctor Mpofu, good evening and welcome. Uh, can you please uh, uh, dive in there? Uh, good evening to yourselves and your guests, and also to your listeners. Um, I think we can describe Mnangagwa's speech in three simple words pathetic, empty, and hopeless. Um, when Mnangakwa came in through the coup, he promised many reforms and he promised to deliver, and he has failed on that to an extent that we have seen the military killing people using uh, naked violence. To an extent that, as he said yesterday, giving his speech at the United Nations, um, Zimbabwe had just, um, uh, Zimbabwe Security Services and ZANU PF had just incarcerated uh, journalists for exposing corruption, incarcerated uh, opposition members, uh, uh, spending lengthy uh, terms in, 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 in prisons without a fair trial. We have seen the behaviors of major streets. Uh, suggesting that they are actually captured by ZANU-PF. And we have seen ZANU-PF and these members, as we are experiencing right now, behaving as a law unto themselves, taking Zimbabwe as Chinuchedu, as their property, as their private property. This is what ZANU-PF has done. And it therefore follows on the speech that Mnangaka gives. Um, he lies to the international community that Zimbabwe is committed to fostering democracy to fostering human rights and the rule of law. Whereas we know fully well that in Zimbabwe there is no rule of law as we, as we would expect now. And um, Nangako spends time celebrating the construction of a road. Who in their right mind is a leader of a nation goes to an international forum and celebrates the construction of a road? This is what the government is supposed to do. It's just like a father who goes on a, on, a, on a podium to tell people that he has bought his children food. That's what a father is supposed to do. The construction of roads, the construction of hospitals is what ZANU-PF is supposed to do. It's not even supposed to be a United Nations agenda item. For a long time, uh, Zimbabwean uh, politicians have uh, been uh, uh, assisted uh, outside the borders medically. To an extent that even the founding president of a nation died outside the country because of poor management of infrastructure, poor management of hospitals. As we speak now, doctors are not well paid in Zimbabwe. Doctors are not living well in Zimbabwe. And the COVID pandemic, which actually Mnangakwa rightly claims that is affecting all other countries around uh, the sub-region, but it affects Zimbabwe more because the government is taken advantage of this to abuse human rights. So at the end of the day, I do not see any reason why we should celebrate Mnangakwa's speech. In any case, if anything, we should be mourning that um, Mugabe, um, Mugabe left a, an empty seat as it were. Because at least even though Mugabe was an ineffective di detector, his speeches could be listened to. His speeches had some content that could actually be celebrated, be it international relations or uh, him lambasting the West for his abuses on human rights, which were actually justified. Nangako spends time speaking about illegal sanctions, which sanctions actually were imposed on ZANU-PF to stop ZANU-PF from human rights abuses. And his government has not shown any appetite to stop human rights abuses. There's shown no appetite to stop corruption is no, shown no appetite towards development of that country. If you go to Bulawayo now, um, uh, the ZANU-PF guy speaks from Canada, I speak from South Africa and I go to Zimbabwe anytime. If you go to Bulawayo now, most of the factories, most of the factory buildings 
are now either churches or mortuaries. And then we stand here and want to celebrate the building of a road uh, from Marare to Maswingo. Kodwa, uh, uh, mpofu nginge na kona hapo nge sindevele. Kodwa, nga, e, kuluma nguti izi chezi so zi pazamisa uzulwe Zimbabwe chigelele. E, e gala po inti ini kona hapo nguva. Sesige sezo abantabane ngava mapizi mosive kala nguti izi chezi so zi abalimaz. Ezi chezi so zi abalimaz abantu asigwa aliloku ende. Um, Nage nga kuluma kwa mwenye mshanga nesa wake savala wala pa emsa gazu inu inu Kuti isi chesi so zi ali maza vandu Kutu aki Kule isi chesi so kunge la isi chesi so Isi anu piefa iso zi chinchi Isi anu piefi loki fana Isi chesi so lezi isi anu piefi ikacha ngazu Ouche ukuti isi chesi so nga avandu ngemba kwa ketu Be siti sesifuni mpume la yo ketu Vange nesi tritin Ba, 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 ba demonstrate ba tuchule luani ende ngawa ntu be tuchula soko tu is Jesus um, abantu ma nga 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 le city ba funa uh, ba funa mans ba funa ni uh, soko tu au le is Jesus soka ukicho ma sanctions is Jesus so lazy zafa wa ngenga yuguti is anu pf ya ishugu me zavantu is anu pf ya ichonge and is anu pf isiyege lile na ugu shugu me zavantu isiyege lile na ugu chonge Asingege sasala loko siti izi chesi so hizo eze nzi uti izi mbapi nga pumelele. Obwazi izi mbapi nga pumelele izi anu PF mwaba seme shilegi iluku kusa lilani jizu. So mm-hmm. uso nito yu uti zi singati yonke into AMB eza gali izi mbapi. Um, u, manji izi anu PF ingetisana le 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 toko zani kupu u, 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 u kolapsi si MTCA. Singati izi chesi so gami. Asi ngege za tu yuti izi chesi suwe zenza ganja. Mm-hmm. Isi ya, isi ya, hold it there, uh, Dr. Mpofu. Uh, isi za penduga uwe kona po. Aiwa, apu tanga tuku nchukwa kufa kuna wa mpofu wa shita ura ufu nguwa zao. E, pa msoro pejo, kata urwa, ni mtunga miri wenyika wa Emerson Munanga wa uh, ku United Nations. Tanzu wa mpofu wa chishora iwo kuti e, seku wana kwa avo. Apana iwo kushakaba bata, e, varukuta ora iwo kuti shanga jisi na kunyanyo kusha kuti mtunga miru wenyika. Wawani kwe wachenda, kuno mira pambe ni pepa sirosi vachita ora iwo kwa msoro pe kugaziru wa kwe nzira za kada ise baipiriti roji. Nuruti ndoshu nofandra kuti kwa neuru meende, nukuta ora kukuita wa mpofu. Vachita ora osha kare kuti munguwa ya kufura, e, pa msangan wakada ita iwona, e, wan, wakada isa usemu wa imbo wa mtunga miru wenyika. Varu pati mkabe wa shitaura iwo pa, e, pa, ma, pa msangani ya kada iwa shitaura waka nangana ni Afrika uyeshe waka nangana ni Zimbabwe saka ndoshu nisho wanga waru kutaura e, panya ya ye kutaura kwa kaita wa mnangagwa. Let me continue with uh, 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 Dr. Mpofu. Uh, isi mzile njalo ubabu mnanga kwa mpofu e kuluma nguguti uhulumende wake uselete esi ngati ngumkuba ugu kulumisa na ugu bamba na elizwe ni wa kuluma nge poladi. Um, si azu uti MDC gaiko ugu poladi la manya mabanza e kona apuma e ngobati kuzalwa mazwane kutwa. Asa kona amanya mabanda gulu manyano afana labu MDCT o toko zani kupi o babu matuku. Um, Uungati ni nga mazwe ya kila? Uwe kwa mba manga njimu na nga. Um, nga, nga, nga singa kangela uguti EMTC ga toko zani kupi labu matuku. Nogunye njoo wa mabanda nogunani. Bala ma members amanga yi parliament. Ndi loku yiko usko mbisi uguti. I support abantu lava abalayo e Zimbabwe wonke ba ku Poland ingakanani so i Poland ingoku indawo kokuzinatheli T nje lokukhuluma lona lokungamaqembu ungawinanga um anything kuma elections abafuna ukuba relevant o abangela into zokwenza eziqakathekile into eqakathekile e Zimbabwe ukuthi kukhulunywe lamabandla alama supporters amaningi o alama members of parliament amaningi e Zimbabwe ukusho ukuthi MDC alliance yokuzeni nelinyiqembu lamaqembu aqakathekile ku politics yase Zimbabwe okamanje ukusho ukuthi umnanga kwa yobo kumela khulumisa nelabo 
and umnanga kuzo kulumisa na labo engu bani kwa kule nyingi nga futi la pe kupolitiki za Zimbabwe ngoba umnanga kwa um, his legitimacy is contested to start with and okuta tegileyo iwuti kube the outside intervention kube United Nations or Africa Union ingenele ikulumisa na la maba nja onki kanyo la maka mbebu uto le Zimbabwe ngoba ibu uto Le Zimbabwe ilo la sifaka la pesi kuna, ilo la silete lu mnangako. Ndi um, abantu abande ngebebu lawa kusenzu izi ntozo nke le zimbabwe churi nga ma protesi. Libu to le Zimbabwe ebe li bula la bandu. Libu to le Zimbabwe ebe li nge, e, 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 esa li ngenele ku politiki ngendele la esi nga zange si zibuone. Uh, since Zimbabwe ya, 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 ya tolu zibuose. So, uka tegilewe uti uh, kube lukunge nela we, we, we Africa Union uguzi uh, ama Zimbabweans o ama tembu uh, ae politike Zimbabwe akulu misa negashi. Ngoba ngele la ugu yiko manje. Umnanga kwa gangege akulu misa na li MTCA. Yoni MTCA ifunu uti apume eh, u eslalweni o at least kube lugu vumelu anunguti ama elections haa enzala la previous la enzala la ngagushi endu mnanga kukume kangega kufuma loku even though e vumu guti ena uhu wina wake wa wina nge, nge very small margin e eh, uzenza u president uzbuena njemo president mtca haimboni njemo president mwagunja aloge akusoze wenzu guti mtca ye kulumisa na lumnanga kwa bebo oto kuzo funaga la umuntu o vila panji o ama kamba vila panji Iga kulu o, o, um, Africa Union o e United Nations ingene ingeti si Zimbabwe. Mhm. Ah, uh, si abo ngampo fut kubege o bambi le kona po ah uh, ma va tawanda zokora e va zoka parunari ve MDC ah uh, va zokora na u gamchira ijakari um vamnanga kwa vaka taura nenyae ma sanctions uongo uh, imimi kwa MDC alliance murukuti uh, ndesho ya mkosi maturo hivi e, ma uungwe ma sanctions e, aga nanga na nengo ziza nu pf chete asit no mbonzo ya ma business vaka wanda wachi chema chema kuti shirango shati kuwa za ya azika na tila wita ma transactions kunze uko e, ati goni nenyae shirango ishi muno tichi ise mdc sanctions ya uh, what sanctions are they talking about the sanctions uh, as you have correctly pointed out that are they are uh, targeted sanctions they are targeting individuals and uh, of course their companies their businesses those individuals companies that are violating human rights that are corrupt uh, those are the people that are affected by sanctions america the one that they are saying is imposing those sanctions remains the biggest contributor uh, from any other country in zimbabwe they've contributed billions of dollars so if uh, sanctions are being imposed by the americans why are they spending so many millions in zimbabwe we know that and uh, even here nangagwa is doing business with american companies we know ballard investments uh, that is headquartered in uh, in washington dc it's a it's their consulting company they lobby on behalf of emerson Munangagwa. recently they also employed two other american companies that they are paying millions of dollars uh taxpayers money uh just uh, to try and cleanse emerson Munangagwa's image so if uh, they are really uh sanctions if, if they are sanctions why are they these three companies being allowed to do business with the uh with uh, with with zanu pf so the 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 issue of sanctions uh, uh cannot uh, uh be the one that is causing the problems in zimbabwe what is causing issues and the suffering of people in zimbabwe is the massive corruption that is going on where well, it's on record that are so to date we have lost 80 billion dollars to corruption and what is causing problems in Zimbabwe are the massive human rights abuses that we are seeing going on every day. In fact, that's the biggest sanction that our people should be talking about, that of human rights abuses. Who wants to come and do business with a country that is killing people in daylight? Who wants to do business with a country uh, where people are just arrested? There is no rule of law. Who wants to do business 
with a country where if you put your money today in U.S. dollars, tomorrow someone wakes up and says that it's now uh, Zimbabwean dollars and all the money is gone and there's no compensation whatsoever. Nobody wants to do business with people like that. People want to do business with people who are sincere. We have a very insincere government. We have a very lying government. So it, what, what, whatever is going on in Zimbabwe is being caused by ZANU-PF. And they need to reform themselves uh, before they can point fingers uh, at sanctions. And then Thank I had um, uh, someone talking about uh, Poland, why the MDC alliance is not uh, uh, joining uh, Poland. We, we have always maintained, and we are the ones who started saying that we want to talk with Emerson Munangago. We want to resolve the issues that are going on in Zimbabwe. We want the people of Zimbabwe uh, to have better livelihood. But all we have said is that let's have a neutral mediator. Let's have uh, 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 um, a, credit, a credible and recognized mediator. What is wrong with that? We are, we are, we are. We are a force to reckon with. We are the uh, biggest opposition party in Zimbabwe, as evidenced by 2.6 million that voted for President Chamisa. So those people that we are representing, they deserve uh, what we are demanding because they are the ones who told us that. They said you cannot go into uh, 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 these talks with uh, 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 a mediator that is unrecognized, that is not known. Dynamos near Highlanders. Kotorwam, a former player in Highlanders. If I a former player in Highlanders, you don't know how to refer. And then, Dynamo said, "Or Iowa, it's a game. We're not neutral. What is wrong with that? What is wrong with that demand? What is wrong with that condition?" And that's all we are saying. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Rambai Maka. But the Vazokora, but the Zokora. The MDC Alliance Monomo America MAF. Mm -hmm. I wa a potanga two kuns walk of Nava Tawanda Jokora, the MDC Alliance of Tora Kurkita and Tunga Milin Como, Vastaura Opam Soro Penya Yesurango, Jagate Mirwa, Nikae Zimbabwe. The gate in the Kunava, Charumbira Vez, and OPF teams we were a Divirao Panya Yui, Vacharumbira Murkutins Wari. Ehe, tipe ufu kwa zenyu panya ya ye jira angu takaona wa Emerson Munanga kwa e, mtungamiru wenyika wa shitaura iwo wa chichema chema panya ya ye jira angu shakati meru wa nyika ye Zimbabwe. E, Nukupaya neji karanga ya neji rungu. Taurei neji karanga fest mozi hinde ni mchi rungu. Ah, ok, nda nda mungu taura honi kitu tunakutenda mwanga mafurko ta lewa tonya wa tungamiru hindi mwanga maafrika kandri. I think it's quite overwhelming. Uh, uh, but General Assembly and DCS, Onama, African countries, Akawanda, Israel, South Africa, and a Moro West Bab EMDP Alliance, Nababayo Samisa, Divo Varguro as Babi, Banres Varu Pamis Babi, Kusipatara, Kupi, and Kupi, Varu, Kusiru Ponder, Wano Roy, Pachamisa, and MDP Alliance, Alana Rudo, Les Bab, Sanila. Sana, Tribuna Kupi, President, Edna Tadrasika, Pasadapina. Eh, Eh, <laughs> <laughs> 
kuna mbegu hapo function ene sio kuti mta badala ya venyu ndio ndio wale mta mbo jema jema babu time ukuti mta badala for what is done for baba you coming and he's going to come because you you, you cannot hide and you will never escape that no matter what asika basharumbira e, and the Tombo kubata imuru muipapo kutu tunuona nyika zakadai se Amerika Varu kutawura iwo kutipane jino fandira kugaziri zwa Muzimbabwe Se kumbunye kitu kwa kwe koze roze vanu uyeshe kutipane ne utongo uwe jeche tere kutila kutu jirangwe jiju viswe Se urumende isiri kukwa nisa kunge chita iso sushuri kukuru ziri wa ne Amerika ne zimwe nyika zakadai se iyo When, 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 when Zimbabwe was colonized by Britain And we know about the language of how the the issue of the land and uh, what Britain wanted out of Zimbabwe was to make Zimbabwe a colony, a full-time colony forever for Britain. We went to the war, we fought for that, we got our land back and our country then. Now we signed when we signed the land house, there was a a a, 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 a charter that if, if after 19 years or 20 years, the land had to go back to the to the black people as a willing buyer, willing seller. But now that's the time when the British did not want that they, they, did, they didn't want to honor that promise anymore. And what did they do? That's when they for, helped to form MDC or uh, MDC. Then after forming MDC, they planned that what we wanted, we wanted to form an organization or a political party that would be disagreeing with the ruling party. And we see that we fast forward to, to, to the year 2000. Tony Blair did not want to honor what much the state had honored to reinvest uh, and to compensate uh, 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 Zimbabwe and let the, 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 the black people for their property alert. And then that's when they went to the United Nations Security Council and they asked America, which was George Bush, to help Tony Blair to, 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 to put sanctions on Zimbabwe. That's why we have these sanctions. We have these sanctions because the MDC that was led by Sangrai agreed with the British. And the Americans, because they are friends of the British, they came in and we know that the world is being run by the US dollar. Any country in the world that wants to invest in any other country, you have to do it in a US dollar monetary pact. So now America was Britain used America to make sure that when we when we when we get America involved, it means that every anyone who wants to do business in this country who will not who will be told by America that if you invest in this country, we are not going to you are not going to use our money. So that's why we are suffering. It is because MDC Shanghai uh, 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 colluded with the British. The British, with their friends, America, imposed sanctions on Zimbabwe. You want to wonder why was America putting sanctions on Zimbabwe? We were not colonized by America, but we were colonized by Britain. And now Britain has, has been even assisting us after the sanctions. But the United States, we see this some two boys in, in Nelson and the East. They went to the United States system and they said, listen, put more sanctions on the map. We see this boy called Kamisa is going around and saying, I've gone to Sweden, I'm tightening the boat. You are tightening the boat for the country that you live. The country that you think you want to live one day. Then you tell me that you you, you, are, you have the heart for the people in the map. Now, uh -huh. Mr. Sharambira, maybe let me just uh, jump in there and go back again to my question, which was, there are some... You know, the United States and the EU have actually said there are some conditions that Zimbabwe has to meet uh, to have the sanctions removed, like uh, democracy and also to stop human rights abuses. What is stopping Zimbabwe from fulfilling those obligations? That's what I was trying to explain to you, Sister Martha. There is no, there is no obligation, right? Listen, we look at when E.G. Nangagwa became president. There's freedom of speech. Now people can do whatever they want. But the issue that we have is it's not about the human rights. It's about the regime change because Zanpf is the party that brought independence to Zimbabwe. It's about the land. Okay? The, 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 America, the British are using the Americans to get the land back to them. And they will do everything possible to, 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 to make sure that is everything that is done by the by the Nagamba government will never be approved. We, we see that you, you tell me there's no human rights in Zimbabwe right now. If you go to Zimbabwe, what do you mean there's no human rights? Apart from you faking abduction, then you say, don't arrest us. Continue, to, because if you arrest us, we are going to say, you are, you are now violating human rights. This is, this, is, this is the issue that we have. We have human rights in Zimbabwe. We have the rule of law. We have constitutionalism. But we have people like Job Kala who say, I want to remove this government by force. And then now, you, you, when you are being charged or you are being arrested, you cry loud and say, why are they arresting us? Look, Mnangaba has no rule of law. 
I mean, this is just a joke. Don't invite me to, to these interviews if this is what you, if this is the narrative that you want to push. We We're are not, not going to uh, let you continue Mr. Mr. Charubira, we are not pushing any narrative. We're giving you a chance for you to be telling us your side of the story. We are not pushing any narrative. We're just here as journalists. All we're doing is facilitating you to have a conversation here with us. So we ask the questions and we, you know, we respect that you are going to give us respect for answers without demeaning anybody. Thank you. Yeah, so the cat is okay, Resha Karema e Kunava Jokora Manswash Tora Vacharumbira. A Pam Soro page repeats Kamunika, Menon Tunka Kanauripo, a team where the Kunava Jokora teams were he was a Ongoma Vadzokora Varipo, and just to address uh, Mr. Charumbira again. Um, he was talking about uh, me interrupting him. The, our job as journalists, uh, when we come here, is not just to sit and let people talk, talk endlessly. We are here to guide the conversation, but allow people to say whatever they, they want to say, but also challenge them on issues in real time. That's what we do. Uh, yeah, regarding uh, him, I want to call out Wacharumbira. He's lying. He's coming here and lying just like uh, Emerson Munangaga does. But uh, we, I just fact uh, checked what uh, he said here. Mamunzwa, Panamba, Taura, Uti, Arare, Bait Bridge Road, Yakapera, Yama, Shingone, Kaper, Jaru Taura. Arkunyepa. It's a lie. You cannot come to a public broadcaster and lie like that. Akuna Karatakatom, you can apply in 50 kilometers. I just called the people that are involved in constructing that road right now. It's not even anywhere near completion. So you cannot be coming here and telling people that, uh, 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 that uh, there is a road that has been completed. Nothing is ever completed by ZANU PF. That road has been, has been on the agenda of ZANU PF uh, from. For, for the past 10 years, to know this, you know, it's a very good Harare, Vaga Shiga waterfalls, Vaga Mirapo for 10 years. Yarguta or a Echurundi, Yarguti, it's almost uh, completed. It's not even almost completed. Tangatra gets the Equiapana, but Chinyeperan, Kunyepas, Nongo, and Kuruago. And I'm very uh, angered by the disrespect that uh, Mr. Charumbira is showing not only to you, uh, uh, VOA, but also to the people of Zimbabwe. He cannot come here and say that uh, there are no human rights abuses in Zimbabwe when Wopo Ochimono and uh, uh, Mr. Ngarubu may spend 44 days in jail. And so did uh, Honorable Jobskar. These people, if they committed a crime, they are supposed, they are still supposed to have their own rights. In Zimbabwe, it's all in the Constitution. You know, bail is part of the, uh, our, our Constitution. They have a constitutional right to bail. There is no reason for someone who hasn't been a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a those are human rights abuses. Those are human rights abuses. Those are arrested those people? Why haven't they arrested those people? If he's saying they are not a state agents, why is it that all these abductions that they claim to be fake no one has ever been arrested for, 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 for taking in these people. With all the resources that ZANU PF has in the CIOs, in the police, uh, in the army, why is it that we have never had anyone being arrested? In fact, we have the victims being victimized, the victims being arrested, like what they are doing to Joanna Mamun. So please, let's respect each other, Wacharumbira. Mm-hmm. Uh Siabonga Tinotenda Nemzana Zokora. 
Dogote la mpofu, uh, as we uh, wind down, uh, back to the issue of uh, the sanctions. I know the issue of uh, e, e democracy, you know, um, Nangagwa says he's doing this, but many people say he's doing something totally opposite. And uh, people are now free to say whatever they want to say. Zimbabwe, including ama police, who are accused of uh, denigrating the person of the president, um, especially about Neng Vabo, Vabe, the Kononile, a Vete, whom not always we belong, Nanga, Quaden, Ungachon Jalo, Suwacha. There are many people who have been arrested uh, for saying that. How do you then cons- uh, uh, reconcile Ugubocha Wabante Sigubonayo? Lamazia, Kuba, Bumnanga, a United Nations is all a city. We pet the woods, who pet the woods, Umbuso, where it release and Jalo, e democracy, Umbuso, or Kululegile. Um, I think we should we should agree from 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 the start that um, Nangako's speech was built on lies and deception, that's what he sought to do, and that's what he, maybe to the gullible um, uh, African leaders especially, who bought into that deception, then he managed. But those countries, especially uh, in the West, who have, uh, who have been funding but, Zimbabwe for a long but time. But there was an aspect of truth, though, uh, on on his, uh, you know, pronouncements about sanctions affecting people, right? I think we agreed yes, on that. I'm, I'm coming to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what 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 I was driving it is uh, the, the 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 deception about women rights. Deception about um, uh, women's rights, and you, you have Joanna Mamombe now being incarcerated, uh, an incarceration that is actually driven by the magistrate, not by the state prosecutor, uh, to, to 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 be hospitalized and all these kinds of things. Um, so, so w- w- what I was saying is the deception that we get in Nangakwa speech is actually bought or could be bought by those African leaders who have dictatorial tendencies and therefore sympathize with, with the current dictatorship in Zimbabwe because they wouldn't want to see a dictatorship falling because it would suggest that is coming their way. Um, remember, I've said this before in this program, that sanctions, in as much as they are called targeted sanctions, they have a ripple effect to the rest of the economy, not only Zanupia, but to the rest of the economy. And when uh, MTC was in the GNU, uh, Sangirai was appealing for the lifting of the sanctions because of the devastation that they were having in the Zimbabwean economy. That is undeniable. But the problem is Zimbabwe is now using, or ZANU-PF rather, is now using the sanctions to get away with murder. Um, the, 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 the human rights abuses now. If you listen to ZANU-PF's narrative, they will never own up to anything wrong that they do, but they are quick to blame. They blame everything that happens to Zimbabwe on sanctions, but they do not blame it on mediocre leadership that we have. In the, in the current presidium is just a disaster. Kembo Muhati blames the colonialists for not teaching them how to run an economy after independence. Who does that? And it's not even, it's something that you should be embarrassed to say in public. Uh, Chiwengwa, for instance, is now Minister of Health. Somebody with a penchant of going to the West for medical, to China for medical treatment, is being made Minister of Health. How ironic. Um, the, the, the Nangakwa yesterday spent almost 90% of the, of the, of the speech built on lies, built on false promises, promises that he has made before and he has failed. And this in no, in no way doesn't suggest that only sanctions 
uh, are to blame for the Zimbabwe predicament. Mm -hmm. We have to blame the ZANU-PF, which has mismanaged the economy, ZANU-PF, which has actually eroded people's human rights, ZANU-PF, which has actually made corruption uh, uh, synonymous with, 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 with itself. And at the end of the day, the, the, the privatization of the state by ZANU-PF or the privatization of the country by ZANU-PF Listen to, 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 to how Charumbira speaks. He speaks as if he's speaking in his household about Zimbabwe, which is very unfortunate, by the way, for somebody who represents or who claims to speak for a ruling party. He chooses not to know the abuses that happened to Michehiwa by the security agents, which were actually um, picked up on camera. And mm -hmm. the young people demonstrate outside the, 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 the Impala um, uh, car hire services and they get arrested. He doesn't tell us why there is no investigation that is happening, but he's quick to tell us that Joanna Mamombe uh, 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 dramatized their own um, their own abduction, and he can eloquently speak about that. Mm -hmm. uh, they, why are they not having the wherewithal and capacity to solve this problem? They, and if we ask these things, were labeled MDC. I'm not an MDC member, but he's quick and thinks it's justified. To 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 label me as an MTC, and you come, you come, want to call the shots of a meeting. Thank Look, you. We they need to respect each other. If it doesn't want to come on this public platform, we're not going to be held at 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 at, at gunpoint by, by 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 somebody who belongs to a party which, for the past forty years, has failed to run an economy. And thank then you, they want Doctor. To tell us how to they, speak about the Thank Zimbabwe. you, thank you, Doctor. Both we're out of uh, time. Uh, uh, and Thank therefore, you. At the end of the day, we're not going to allow Zanubi of mediocrity to permeate through our public discourses and debates. Thank you, Dr. Mpof. We're out of time. Uh, and uh, let's uh, bring in um, uh, Charumbira Mav. Uh, we have uh, one minute for Mr. Charumbira and uh, another minute for Nukura as we wind down. One minute. Ah, nare zawa meno zawa zangu kata patrika indeze kuwa bata shakare tichi wani kwa tichita se uh, tichi pezi sachiru mwa shedu uh, Meanwhile, uh, regaiti unze iba zokora is uh, he wraps up iba uh, zokora mune less than a minute uh, what's your last word? Uh, my last word is uh, we, uh, we, we hope uh, Emerson Munangaga will stop uh, trying to blindfold and mislead uh, the international community and spending the millions that that is uh, spending in America paying lobbyists so that they cleanse uh, his, uh, his image. He should do the right thing for sanctions to go and for Zimbabwe to start a functioning. He needs uh, to uh, enact the economic reforms. He needs to enact the political reforms and the electoral reforms that he promised when he came in. And that is even there was even lying about at the United Nations. He need to do those things. By the way, Zidera does not only talk of uh, 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 the abuses, uh, human rights abuses. It also talks of uh, uh, curbing corruption and economic mismanagement that we are seeing in Zimbabwe. So he needs to do all those things uh, before uh, Zimbabwe uh, can recover or before those sanctions can be lifted. And by the Thank way, you. it's not the MDC that is causing those sanctions. These people, the Americans, the British, have um, embassies uh, in Zimbabwe. They have researchers. They see exactly what is happening. They don't listen to Chief Shoshe for them to implement the uh, sanctions. That's Thank why you. Thank you, Vazokora. When Morgan Changrai was there, the sanctions were never lifted because the Americans know exactly what is going on in Zimbabwe. And unless those things are adhered to, uh, Zimbabwe will continue to be where it is. Thank you, Vazokora. And uh, Mav, I'm sure we are uh, one of uh, Charumbira. Uh, yeah, we have less than a minute uh, with him. But Charumbira, Mongo Tupamas, we are going to pay Zira. Oh, okay. Can you give us your last word, please? Yeah, I said I didn't get much of the interview because uh, they, 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 there's too much noise coming from the other guys there. So I didn't hear much anyway. I'll give you my sentiments. Yeah, your last sentiments. Yes. All right. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I think. Uh, the MDC, there's too much noise. I'm hearing my air force again. 
No, um, I, I, I think I think we have to leave it there. We are sorry, uh, really sorry, uh, Mav. We are out of time, um, and um, we would like to thank our guests. I'd like to apologize, really, to Mr. Charumbira, but uh, time is not on our side. Uh, we would like to thank uh, Mr. Shepard Mpofu, a political analyst. Uh, Mr. Tawanda Zokora of the MDC Alliance here in North America, as well as uh, Mr. Regis Charumbira um, of ZANU-PF, also here in, uh, in North America. Phone number, a phone number Charumbira. We are having problems uh, uh, in a connection, but uh, we are out of time and we have to leave it there. Mav. I work now, Vangavari Pachurum, what no tenda e could never narcan we do, but Pinda Pachurum, what no tenda e could now Varku on a chirongua, Panguayam Chona Chirongua, she Jimisha Tataura, same figures, no go on Gisha Chinja, Sejo, a Chirongua, she pre recorded. That Sanganesha carries on the Noya, a Pachurum was redu, as the Panopa Studio Seven, in Indian Marvelous in Planganya Hue, Dilim Washington, the city, moving a weekend, the Akanaka. Mina ni muntunga milinko mo lilale zimbabwe omu.